Oops. Hey guys, it's me, Princess Sophie Pink here, and today a special package has come from the mail, and this is from Ariel Arachnid, and um, this is uh, what I I like to call him is my internet adopted grandfather. He's really special to me and he's always always up for giving me advice um, and go check his channel out, link in the description after this video. Let's get opening. Yep, let's go to the shop. This is a C. Fimbriatus. Ooh. This is an old world. And then this is a B. Amelia. Um, my area acne did text my mum saying there will be one for my mum. Uh, why do I keep saying my mum? <laughs> um, so, um, like she would be getting any trunk tours. <laughs> Smirking behind the camera, mum. Okay, bye. Okay, we're gonna be searching on my wonderful tablet. Whoa! Let's try and get a really good picture of one. Yeah. I zoomed in for you. If you guys don't know what a Brachypelma or Amelia looks like, I'll search it up for you. Here. It's a Mexican red leg, um, if you want the common name. There it is. I, I really like the Amelia's. Um, he did send it my mum, but it's mine now. My mum let me look at the Amelia, so let's just look at it quickly. Oh my god. Look how small it is. It's um, under two centimetres. It's so cute and tiny and tiny and tiny. It couldn't even beat my nail, my pinky nail. <laughs> May as well rehouse these in this video because it's only two little tarantulas, which will be easy, kind of hard because they're tiny. Let's get on to it. Right, we've set up the enclosures. Here's what they look like. So, um, for the old world, because it's fissorial, um, what we've done is a lot of substrate so we can burrow. We've put it in a little spag and run, spag and moss. Um, and we gave it a starter burrow because it's gonna start burrowing as soon as we put it in probably. So, and then the Amelia's enclosure is the standard setup with cut block, sphagnum and moss, cup fiber and top soil mixed together. Yeah, right, we'll rehouse the bee Amelia. This one's gonna be really easy because it's just a sling. Why is it upside down? Is it molten? Really don't know. It was alive just a second ago, but now it's like upside down. In case it's molten, I'm just gonna leave it. Pause the video and comment down below right now what you think it is. If anything like that happened to you. Oh, it's October now. Let's get it back in its closure quick before it tries to melt. Here we go. So is it gone in the hide? Yeah, it's gone in the hide. I don't know what happened. We'll leave that now. For a I'm while. gonna um definitely after we've done these rehousing, I'm gonna uh, message Area Arachnid. Well, my mum is uh, message Area Arachnid and see what um happened. Okay, that's just um, enough rambling and talk. 
um, and rehouse the old world. Um, we usually do it in the bath for old world, but it's only one centimeter, so I think we should be okay. Where's the lid? Whoops. Yep, getting back in. Good girl. Girl, me. Again, never be uh, panicked uh, when an old world goes around the enclosure and up and down. All you need to do is rather have a paintbrush or a ketchup or like a little cup. It's a sink. Yeah, that was a very re um, easy rehousing. So we put the lid on. For we don't want any escape teas. Thank you, Eerie Arachnids, for the spiders. I really like them. Here you go, Mum. <laughs> um, the uh, Amelia was upside down, probably because it was having a, a nap. Like my mum always. <laughs> Thank you, Eerie Arachnids. I really liked it. It's my first Kilbracky uh, species. Uh, and, and they're really cute, both of them. Oh my gosh. I used to have uh, one of the Amelia's, but it died. Um, I'm glad to have one back in my collection. Comment down below, hashtag lazy tarantula, and comment down below if you like the tarantulas and the, um, the enclosure. Remember to subscribe to Eerie Arachnids, and he's very non knowledge knowledgeable, and he always uh, uploads um, cool stuff. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, smash that like button and subscribe button and that bell button ding, and we'll see you all next time. Goodbye, stay safe, stay awesome and stay in us. Bye!